Standing in a crowded room and I can't see your face. Hey, baby. Put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay. <laughs> in my mind, I'm running around a cold and empty space. Just put your arms. Hi, everybody. It's Chloe and Milo. And today I am going to be showing you how to clean out your hamster's cage and how I clean it out and just tips and everything like that. So this is Milo and this is my pet hamster. He is a Syrian and he's a couple months old now. And yeah, so he's male obviously and then this is his cage here. And I uh, got this cage from Just for Pets, which I don't know if they have one in the States but they might. But yeah, so this is Milo, he's just exploring right now, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you the supplies that you'll need, and what I do with Milo while I'm cleaning his cage, and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned. Okay, so Bye. the supplies you'll be needing today is a bucket of disinfectant and water, uh, your disinfectant spray, uh, some kitchen roll, and a big plastic bag or bin bag. And is just having a play around with this. Okay, so now I am just going to put Milo in his ball. That's where I put him when I clean out his cage. And some people put him in like a cleaning out cage, but I put him in his ball. So I'm just going to put him in his ball and let him run around, and then I'll show you what I do from there. Okay, so Milo's in his ball now, and now I'm just going to start by lifting the top of the cage off the bottom of the cage. So that's the wiry bits off the blue bits. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so now I'm just going to take everything that is in the blue bit out and just empty everything from his food dish into there. And now I'm just going to pour all of this substrate into my carrier bag or bin bag or whatever you're using. So I'll okay, just do that. So now that's empty and it is in the carry bag. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tissue paper and I'm going to dampen it with the um, disinfectant and water. But you don't have to do that. You can just use your disinfectant out there or you could just use like safe soap and water just to wash down your bottom bit of the cage. Obviously every cage is different so your cage might be different to mine but you just clean out the bottom bit of your cage first. So now I'm just going to dampen a bit of tissue and just clean out the bottom here. So I just dampen the tissue now and then I will clean out the bottom bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean out the corners, everything like that with the tissue, just so that the, the bottom of the cage is nice and clean and then you just want to wipe it all over as well. So for the bits that you can't see, they're all wiped up and everything and also you can give it a bit of a spray with your disinfectant and once this tissue gets dirty you can use another one and everything like that. So I'm going to finish that off and then join me back once you've finished the cleaning the bottom of your hamster's cage. Okay so now I've cleaned out the base of the container of the cage although sometimes you can get some stains that just won't come out which is there um, I've rubbed and rubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and they won't come out so that's just a bit of annoying but they're just little stains so they won't matter in the long run now I am just going to fill the bottom of the cage with um, the snowflake wood shavings I get this from Just for Pets and yeah this is a large bag um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how much it is I'll find out and put it in the description box I will write down in the description box where I get everything from and everything like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to fill the bottom of the cage with wood sheddings, wood shavings, sorry, and yeah, I'll get back to you after. Okay, so now I've filled the bottom of the container with um, wood shavings. So now I'm just going to put this to one side because now I'm going to work on the top of the cage. So, um, <clears throat> First off, I'm going to start with the house. So I'm just going to take the house out of the um, out of the cage. So I'll just do that, and then I'll let you know what I do. You've taken your hamster's sleeping house or bed or anything like that out of the cage. Uh, now you just want to take the lid off, and um, if I can, but yeah, take the lid off and just empty everything in it into the. Now I'm just emptying everything in the house into my carrier bag 
so that it is empty and yeah. So now I'm going to get my disinfectant and just spray it a few times and then I'm just going to get my tissue or my kitchen towel and just wipe it all up and make sure that the whole of the entire house and the roof as well is clean with disinfectant and everything like that and then we pause the video and then play it again when you've done now that you've cleaned everything inside your house and the roof and everything now you're just going to fill your house again with fresh clean bedding i'm just using the tissue paper which i bought from just the pets again and so i'm just going to fill up my house with the tissue paper so just get handfuls or things like that at a time and just stuff it in there until you're happy with the amount of tissue paper that is in your pet's home. You don't, ooh, whoopsie, you don't want to stuff it too much or else your pet won't be able to get into the house, which wouldn't be very good. So I think a bit more and then that'll be the good amount. Okay, so now I'm just going to place the lid, the roof back on there and just put that to the side for a second. Now I'm going to work on the top shelf here because as you can see my hamster's bedding has all come out and there's poo and there's sawdust and everything like that there so I just need to clean that all out. To do that you could vacuum it up, you could just sweep it out, you could take the platform out which I'm not going to do but I normally tip my cage so it all falls out. So that's what I'm going to do. But first I'm just going to take my water bottle off. Well, not mine, my pet's water, my hamster's water bottle off. And then I'm just going to clear that s shelving. And then I'm going to wipe it down with a disinfectant. So I'll get back to you when I've done all that. And then I'll show you how to wipe it down with a so disinfectant. now I've just cleaned up this platform. And now it should be okay for you to get your hamster's house and just pop it back in there. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'll meet you so back now after. I've reattached the house. So now I'm just going to give a spray with the disinfectant to every platform on my pet's cage and then I'm just going to wipe it down with tissue and make sure they're all clean and so you do the same with all your pet's platforms and everything like that and you're just basically giving everything a spray down and a clean so that make sure that everything's clean for when you put your hamster back okay so I'm going to do that now and then I'll meet you back okay, after so now I've wiped down all the platforms and put the roof back onto my the top of the cage so now I am just going to place all the toys and the food bowl and everything like that back into this the base of the thing base of the cage and I'm just going to fill the food bowl up as well and I'm also going to fill the water bottle up so he's got fresh water and the fresh food which you obviously meant to do every other day or every day with your hamster <clears throat> so I'm just putting all the toys in and then you put all your hamsters toys in wherever they may go and then fill the food bowl up and redo the refill the water bottle and then come back or uh, play the video again when you've okay, done now that. I've filled the food bowl up and put more water in his water bottle so now I'm just going to place the base of the cage back onto the top part of the cage so just do that and just basically re-put everything of your cage together and any other extra bits that you have and then close all the doors and then you're ready to put your hamster in so I'll get back to you when I've done all that and then I'll put my hamster in with you okay so now you should have finished cleaning your cage and you can just pop your hamster back in so he can enjoy his clean cage so now I'm just putting Milo's ball up to his cage to see whether it will crawl out There we go. So now close your hamster's door and place your hamster's cage back where it normally is. So now you've got a nice clean hamster cage and I hope you found this video helpful. And please like, comment and subscribe. And let me know in the comments box any more videos that you'd like me to do to do with crafts, pets or rainbow loom. Or anything related to those things. And then I will try my best to get the video out as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey baby. Put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay. <laughs>